Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television. And today I have with me Yvonne McNary as my co-host. And today we're going to be talking with Mary Kay Savarese, who is a, an author who has experience with tigers. So we're going to get to hear all about that because right now there are a lot of people who are watching the Netflix documentary, Tiger King. And we wanted to hear from somebody who actually has experience with tigers to see if there's mm -hmm. some truth to some of the things we're seeing there or not. So Mary Kay, thank you very much for joining us. Hello, Gary. Hello, Yvonne. It's a pleasure I'm... to be with you today. Thank you. Now nice you're joining us you. from Florida, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, we're doing this via Zoom. So we're all social distancing. Yes. With the whole <laughs> pandemic going on crazy. But you are a new author about yes, a I book, am. right? Can you tell yes. us a little about your book? Yes, my book is a cozy mystery romance with a spiritual twist that was inspired, the title was inspired by a visit to um, a St. Augustine, Florida uh, big cat reserve where I witnessed a tiger go into a bubble bath with obsession perfume as its cocktail. So that's <laughs> what the ins it was awe inspiring, Yvonne, it, at Gary. <laughs> and I said to myself, that is the title for my book, my next manuscript. And I um, then wrote the story around the title. Okay. That's fantastic. Thank so. Tell us. No, no. What, what motivated you to go to the reserve? A dear friend of mine invited me to go to the big cat reserve, and I am a cat lover. And what's better than just a little cat? The big cats. And um, as I said, it was by um, special invitation only, this sanctuary um, that is for unwanted exotic animals that have literally come from TV shows, circuses, um, pets. People actually bring in a tiger as a pet. And when they realize they're in the garage because the cat is tearing apart the house, they will call this sanctuary in St. Augustine. And now approximately how many animals did they have? They had about 70 exotic animals. And what they mean by exotic, it was the big cats. They had panthers and lions, um, tigers, oh my, yeah. And they had a bear and they had a couple of um, other um, exotic animals, but mainly the unwanted um, tigers uh, and um, jaguars and cougars, so. Oh, wow. Oh, cats, wow. So you are, you are a cat lover. Cat lover, with. yes, yeah. yes. Do you have a cat of your own? Um, I do, I do. Okay, what's your cat's name? Fermi. Fermi, okay. Cat's name. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But, but your cat is a little different than the ones that you experienced at the reserve, correct? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yes. thank, thank goodness. Exactly. So, but speaking of that, a lot of people think, oh, cats, they seem cute and cuddly and they're beautiful animals. Yes. But they are also dangerous animals, potentially. Is that correct? Well, they could be. Most of them are very um, kind and loving oh. and warm. For me, the cat, we're talking about regular cats. We're not talking about- No, we're talking the about cat. the big cats. Oh, big the cats. big cats. Oh, excuse me. I thought we were talking about the little cats. Oh no, um, big cats. Um, one of the things the professional handlers stressed while I was there, never turn your back. And they're professionals. They will never turn their backs on these um, big cats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, and one of the privileges of being able to go into this reserve, and the owner is um, Deborah Warwick, um, and it is her mission to um, take care of these animals and to make sure to teach people, it's also an education center, to teach people um, about how not to abuse these beautiful creatures. So um, basically, yeah, they were behind their cages, but we were able to get close enough 
to see them. And some of the funniest things, I guess at that time of day, well, as they're taking you through this reserve, they are feeding these beautiful big cats. And the funniest thing, before I even get to the tiger part, is the lion. The lion was tossed a frozen lollipop of a turkey. So <laughs> if you have ever seen a lion go at this as if it was literally licking a lollipop, it was the funniest, funniest thing. <laughs> That's precious. That's that really turkey cool. didn't think it was too funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so in the, um, in the Tiger King documentary, that yes. has to do with a reserve as well, correct? Uh, more, they're more, I believe, more like a roadside zoo. Okay. And the sanctuary that I visited, and I was so inspired to write my cozy mystery, is not a zoo. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's a rescue center, a sanctuary. So um, okay. a little, little bit different, yes. I, you mentioned the feeding of the lions. I, yeah. I would imagine that with that many animals, it could be, become very expensive to take care of them in this reserve. It, exactly, which is, yes. So I, I truly believe if you can locate a reserve in your state, give them some assistance. Um, the way the reserve at um, St. Augustine um, raises money is to allow people to come in two to three times a week. Okay. And, um, and, and, they, and they raise money that way and through donations, yes. That's great. So this became the setting for your novel. Yes, yes. Right. Now, this is your first book that you've had published, but it's not your first yes. book that you've written. Is that It's accurate? not my first manuscript, no, but it was the first uh, manuscript that was published. Yes. Well, congratulations. That's Thank great. you very much. And we'll let our audience in just a little bit know how they can get a copy of your book. Absolutely. But the book, as we said, is called Tiger's Love, Bubble baths and obsession. Perfume. Okay. Who knew? Exactly. Who knew? <laughs> That's the title <laughs> of the book. And who knew? <laughs> so, how did they know? <laughs> how did that go back? How did you figure all this out? Yes. Okay. The last exhibit, as I was told, they save this till the very end and they take you around in a Jeep. And the last stop was the tiger's cage. Now, there were about a dozen of us that arrived there, and I have no idea what is going to transpire. And I am looking at a four foot tall by 16 foot wide galvanized tank filled, overflowing with bubbles. <laughs> this, at that point, it's like, okay, who is this for? What is it for? And um, they tell us, just hold on, and within a couple of minutes, they open um, the, the door, the secret door, and mm -hmm. out comes this awe-inspiring, incredible creature, a 600-pound Siberian tiger. Wow. It walks across the ramp, and right on cue, um, the handler's there behind in another cage, but close enough. It's as if the tiger was going to take off its uh, swimming robe, jumps into the bubbles, and is swimming around, lapping up the bubbles, and looks like, oh, just hand me a little cocktail. I am ready to party. <laughs> and I stood there literally like this, with my mouth open the whole time. Um, and I said to myself, this is unbelievable. And I said, that is the title of my next manuscript, um, hopefully published book, Tigers Love Bubble Bats in Obsession Perfume, Who Knew? <laughs> and that's how that title was born. And then I wrote the, the, the mystery around that. Mm -hmm. Now, it is a cozy mystery. So tell yes. us, what does that mean? A cozy mystery basically means that um, it is not filled with overt violence and um, sexuality in the sense of all these like um, vivid descriptions. So it's more um, to the general audience. Okay. okay. And it's a mystery, so that'll be a lot of yes. fun. So yes. 
there's one death after another. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Tell us a little bit more. <laughs> and um, it's also a romance. And basically, my mission in writing um, this story around tigers, love bubble bats, and obsession perfume was to basically take the story of a middle-aged woman tossed aside in life who decides through serendipity to start over. And with wishes and a divine hand of intervention, um, there's a lot of intrigue and there's a, a lot of starting over and keeping you on the edge of your seat. Wow. Wonderful. And it also has a spiritual twist, I hear. Yes, right? the spiritual twist is the um, divine hand of um, intervention that comes over her. Um, and, and, and the other characters in the book, the whole town, the whole community. Okay. Is it set in Florida, in your location? Um, no, it is actually set in northern Maine. Okay. okay. Oh, very good. From yeah. one end of the yes. <laughs> East Coast to the next. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Now, how can people get a copy of your book? Um, my book is everywhere. It's on Amazon, um, walmart.com. I'm on the largest Christian books online website, Target online, um, any Barnes and Noble, um, any independent bookstore. And I would love very much um, for people to visit my website and I would love to meet them through that. And that's www.mary. Um, ksavarese.com, um, S-A-V-A-R-E-S-E. -E. Thank you so much <laughs> for letting me pitch that. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So We love we, mysteries. Yes, I love a good mystery. <laughs> yes. and, and tigers, I like tigers too. <laughs> oh, and um, I need to tell you more about the tiger. With the, um, as the tiger is um, just moving around, shuffling uh, around the bubbles, the cocktail is very interesting. The mm -hmm. cocktail is simply obsession perfume. I, I happen to have one right here. Uh, this okay. is just a little bottle. But the reason um, tigers, it is very well known that tigers love the pheromones in obsession perfume. So Ooh. it literally calms them down. So if you, you might see in the wild, they will spray rocks with um, obsession perfume and the tigers will literally go up to these rocks and cuddle and lick them because they are just attracted to the pheromones in the obsession perfume. Really? Yes. It's fascinating. That yeah, it is. The it's, tigers are fascinating creatures. They really, really are. Now, how big, you said this was like a 600 pound. This was a 600 pound Siberian tiger. And in researching um, the tigers for the story in my book, I've learned that tigers um, under their chin, all their stripes are their signature. Um, every tiger has a different um, arrangement of, of stripes under their chin. And um, they, they have a sound they make, like a chuffing sound, where they, their mouth is closed, but it, it, they, uh, they make a sound through their nose. And that's how they greet each other. And that's how the tiger that I saw jump into the bubble bath greeted um, its handler. The handler was, you would think it was the tiger's best friend, but with spraying the obsession perfume, this tiger lapped it up like crazy and licked, actually through the um, gate that was up, licked the handler's face. So it, it was truly an incredible experience for me. As you can tell, I wrote a book. <laughs> exactly. Now, in your mystery, does the tiger yes. factor into solving this mystery? Uh, you sound just like my publisher. <laughs> my publisher. Now, as I said, I love quirk. This is a very quirky title. I'm an author that loves quirky titles. And I write the story around my title. So I was determined to keep this title at all costs. 
So my publisher had said to me, Mary, please tell me that there is an actual tiger in your story. And I said, <laughs> yes, there is a tiger in bubble bats with obsession perfume. And it is the climax of the story. And it is involved with one of the um, main characters. So yes. Great. Very yes. good. <laughs> well, it sounds fascinating. Yes, it does. Yes. Well, thank you. Murder and mayhem. <laughs> Murder and mayhem. And you will find that. Yes. in my tigers. <laughs> exactly. So if you've been watching the documentary on Tiger King, you'd like tigers. If there's something that interests you, then look for tigers, love, bubble baths, and obsession perfume. Who knew? Right? Thank you. You got it right. <laughs> right. By Mary Kay Savaris. Yes. And again, your website for people to... It is www.mary, M-A-R-Y, K-S-A-V-A-R-E-S-E dot com. But if they Google the book's name, it'll pop up. Amazon, it's eBooks, it's hardcover and soft mm -hmm. cover. Yeah. You can find it anywhere. And while okay. we're stuck inside, it's a great time to snuggle up with a nice cozy mystery a cozy mystery okay. yeah. <laughs> exactly thank you very much we appreciate you being with us today oh thank you gary nivon it was such a pleasure to thank meet you, you and such a pleasure to speak to both of you and stay safe and smile and love one another right that's the best we can do during these trying times that's right yes, thank you thank very you. much thank, thank you. you right this has been gary white for channel six and kentucky television